at the Messy Church Connections Conference last week, Linnea Good, one of the presenters, said, a story at best is something that grows the storyteller. A story can engage us. It might give us something to consider, something to ponder, an idea with which to spend some time. A story might reach out and grab us. A story might want to stay with us. And a story might cascade like a canopy of stars to light our way. We all have a story. At the conference, one of our presenters, Susie McPherson Durendi, had us on the edge of our seats, listening to every word as she talked about the indigenous tradition of the story stick. She kept a few special things that she had collected over the years and attached them to her stick as she talked about different times in her life. And as we received the gift of the story stick, Lucy Moore wondered if God has a little cache of precious things like this for each of us, reminding God of special moments. Linnea assured us that when you know the story, then you can tell the story. So today, thinking about stories, let's think about the gospel story and let's tell that story. They came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho. Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, who was a blind beggar, was sitting by the side of the road. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and to say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly. Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And they called Bartimaeus saying to him, take heart, get up, he's calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, teacher, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. And immediately Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. What a story. What a story, it grabs our attention, sort of with its simplicity, but also because it's a story that helps us to claim the gospel as good news, the blind can see. The messy church team at TMUC had explored that story a number of years ago when the church was under construction and we were needing to meet in Scout Hall. And we had resources from the CNIB so that we could understand a little bit about blindness. You know, they, there was a, a piece of plastic that was a bit foggy and another that distorted one way and then another. And then we tried an exercise where we had to follow a path wearing a blindfold. Well, more than one had to lift up the corner and peek out in order to feel safe. The Gospel of Mark wants to give us this story to help us understand the importance of Jesus as he heads to Jerusalem. And every bit of this story is good news filled with symbolism. In Hebrew, the name Bartimaeus literally means the son, Bar, the son of the unclean. Helping the hearers of the story who understood Hebrew 
to remember all the associations that Jesus has had with the unclean, the lepers, the tax collectors, the sinners, those possessed by demons. Jesus has embraced them all. And blind Bartimaeus cries out while sitting on the sidelines, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. That's where Mark is using that double meaning of vision and seeing. Bartimaeus may not be able to see with his eyes, but he is able to truly see in the sense of understanding that Jesus is son of David, Messiah. Bartimaeus sees that Jesus is the one sent from God. He sees that all things are possible with Jesus. He sees what in Mark's gospel, the disciples cannot seem to see. He who is blind has the sight of God. And then many order him to be quiet. But Bartimaeus cries out even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And they called the blind man saying to him, take heart, get up, he's calling you. And so then throwing off his cloak, he springs up and comes to Jesus. Jesus hears Bartimaeus's call and he stands still. He stands still and responds with his own call. Jesus hears a call, stands still and offers a call. He calls him like he's called the disciples and following on the heels of the story of the rich person who cannot follow Jesus because he has too many possessions, even though he understands the gospel, Bartimaeus throws off his cloak, perhaps the only thing he owns, and springs up and comes to Jesus answering that call. Without being asked, Bartimaeus frees himself of anything holding him back in order to present himself to Jesus. And unlike the disciples, James and John, who've just asked Jesus for the best places in the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, he asks not for something special, but to be like others, he asks to see. My teacher, let me see again. Let me see again. He knows what it is to see. He knows what it is to be part of society. For if he could see, he would be part of society. He knows what it is to be part of community. He knows what it is also to be outcast, to be unclean, to be alone. And Jesus turns to him and says, go. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he has regained his sight and he follows Jesus on the way. Bartimaeus receives his sight. He's healed. He's free to go back to a life he might have had before when he could see. But it wasn't about going back. It was about going forward. It was about being called. It was about calling out to Jesus and then being called by Jesus. It was about following Jesus to a new way where the blind are given sight, the deaf can hear, the lame can walk, and the captives are set free. It's about the blessing of Jesus that just might enable Bartimaeus to be a blessing to others. just might enable Bartimaeus to be a blessing to others. I wonder, I wonder if this story can cascade into a canopy of stars to light our way. I wonder if we can consider how we are called to see with the eyes of faith. I wonder if we can see those who are left out. I wonder if we can be a blessing to others, trusting, trusting 
that God is with us. And in the words of the hymn, be thou my vision, O joy of my heart. May God bless us this day and always. Amen.